Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Just come in the visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, 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 oh. and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time My bag of choice for the trip was the Givenchy Antigona, which I thought would be brilliant because you can fit so much inside it. But if you make it heavy, it's a bit of an awkward shape to go on your shoulder. So as soon as you put your A5 agenda in here, your iPad in here, it fits my travel wallet from Dior really well. It doesn't sit on your shoulder very well at all. When it's empty, it's fine. Like right now, this feels really nice. But as soon as it's heavy, something about the shape, it just pulls it off. So it was a little bit of an annoying choice. I did use it for the market some days, but it's a little bit of a bulky bag for carrying around when we were doing 20 30 000 steps a day so i did have a second bag that i took this is the long wallet from dior and this is what i took for during the day when we were going to the markets i was meant to take my sea by chloe bag that i got specifically for this trip a few months ago but i left it at my mum's a few days before the trip and only realized a few hours before we went so anyway left it but this is the bag i ended up taking in theory a good choice but when you look inside the closure on this is just a press stud so you need to get it exactly on to close it which might not sound like anything but when you've got big bulky gloves on when you're cold when you're handling multiple things it was a little bit annoying and I wish I'd just taken my palace clutch or taken the bag that I intended to on the trip so bag wise it was a little bit of a fail <laughs> yes the holiday itself clearly Mark and I went to Berlin this year for our German Christmas markets trip it was amazing and very much like when we first started going out this was a holiday where we were way more relaxed way happier but also with tighter purse strings than usual so normally when we go to Germany for our Christmas markets trip we get a ridiculously swanky room this year we stayed at a really nice hotel but we got the cheapest room possible and normally when we go to Germany I'm too tired to be going around and finding public transport or planning any Anything before we go this time so excited to be going planned everything had worked out which s-barn and u-barn and how everything worked before we went and it was a real adventure to actually go and use the public transport and get a feel for the place and mark always wants to do that stuff and i usually say no i'm too tired let's just get an uber whereas this year it was really nice to actually learn how everything worked we felt quite self-sufficient <laughs> while we were in berlin we did three things we did luxury shopping christmas markets and we also did a little bit of history and culture though not necessarily in that order so so let's talk a bit about the luxury shopping. There are two places that you can go in Berlin to luxury shop. The first is this road. I would highly recommend it. All the boutiques are very close together. They're fairly big, but people weren't very relaxed in them. Even though it was the middle of the day on a weekday and they were pretty quiet, people weren't really wandering around the boutique. It was very much come in, sit down, somebody will come to you. They're still at that point with things, which is fair enough, but I don't find that particularly enjoyable. I like to wander around and try different things on. I did try and do this in Louis Vuitton and I got my own security escort who went around with me. The most relaxing of all the boutiques was actually Hermes where we had a great time and I ended up picking up a little something. We did look to go in Chanel. We waited outside, it was only about a five minute wait, but when we looked in, everyone looked incredibly bored and was just sat there waiting to be served. And we got chatting to a lady outside who said, oh, why don't you go up to the kind of Berlin's equivalent to Harrods because it's much more relaxed up there. So when they called us in for Chanel, we sent her in instead and we went off up to this other place. 
Just before I show you that, another reason to visit this road is that if you go to any German Christmas markets in Germany, you will find that there is one stall that stands out and it's beautiful. It's a really ornate bauble stall that you walk through. It's a real experience. It's something a bit different. And on this road is the actual store for that brand. So this is it. It's incredible. They have the most beautiful decorations, glass, wooden, lace, you name it. And in the middle of the store is this massive, beautiful, I don't know what they're called with the, the fan at the top that spins with the heat from the candles, but it's humongous. It was just a real joy to go around. We bought all of our baubles from here. We got some gorgeous tea lights and this is worth a trip for anyone who is a Christmas nut and it's not that far from all of the boutiques. So definitely worth a special trip for this. So the Berlin equivalent of Harrods is this card of v, I want to say. Gorgeous place, also currently taken over by Dior, much the same as Harrods. We had a great time in here. I would totally recommend the trip, but there are these two different options if you want to luxury shop in Berlin. Christmas markets in Berlin are nice. On the whole, they're not much better than you get in Manchester, Birmingham or London though. If you are a Christmas markets fanatic, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a visit to Berlin. Apart from one of the markets, which was beautiful and just by chance happened to be outside our hotel. Normally the market's on the other side of the hotel, but that square was closed for refurbishment this year. And so they moved the market to right in front of our front door and it even had our name over it. Ooh, our name. After two o'clock, it's one euro to go into the market and it's the only market that charges, but for good reason. It was absolutely stunning. And if you were staying in our hotel, you got to go on the market for free. So we wandered around, it was beautiful. The food was amazing. They had men cooking tagliatelle in Parmesan wheels and then adding truffle to it. And it was just, that's the standard of food that you can get out there. It's very different to some of the markets that you get in the UK and that's what we travel for. Those little differences and things that are a little bit more unusual. So we would sit on the market quite late at night and Mark got some beers and I tried to join in. I just don't really like beers, but I looked a bit like a Christmas gnome as well when I've seen pictures. It was fun, we had such a good laugh and it was a really great holiday. We did head out to about six or seven other markets, but they were fine. There was just nothing that I would say you have to visit. Amazing in Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain. And we also did a bit of sightseeing. So before we went, I was so excited. I watched loads of YouTube videos about things you have to do in Berlin. So we went to the Brandenburg Gate, which is a two minute walk from our hotel. Behind that is the Parliament Building, which I don't know why I'd want to go there, but I'd watched these videos and they said it's really good. There's a dome on top of the building. You can walk up the dome and look out over the whole of Berlin. You could, it was gorgeous. I would highly recommend it. It's totally free as well. So we did that and then I got a little bauble of the Kuala building because it was so nice. And then we went to the Holocaust Memorial. That's a bit chilling. There's a lot of history in Berlin. We went to Checkpoint Charlie, we went to a bit of the Berlin Wall. There was so much to see, it's such an interesting place. I'd love to go back there in summer when there's a bit more daylight because it was going dark really early, but it was amazing and it was really, really interesting. And something that just made me smile is that when you cross the road, the little indicators, they have hats on, so cute. I said to Mark, I love them. And lo and behold, they have shops all over Berlin where you can buy memorabilia of these little men. It's so cute. So that was our little holiday. And if you want any details or recommendations, just ask down below. I'll put some more information in the description box as well. Next week, I'll show you what we got in a mez because that was a bit of a surprise and it's very, very nice. But yes, it's only something little, it's not a bag. That is it for today. <laughs> have a lovely weekend. Vlogmas, I'm going to do as much as I can Monday to Friday, but I won't be uploading at the weekend. So yes, I will see you guys on Monday, hopefully. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.